welcome to Blind Owl Outdoors. Here's up, pack of dogs. Welcome to Blind Owl Outdoors. How you guys doing? We just had about 18 hours of rain yesterday. Today it's been dry. A little overcast. Blue sky's out right now to the west. Southwest. Gets old for the dogs in the rain though. They all staked out on this side of the house. The sidewalk here, even in the pouring rain, it never even got wet. So, good spot for everybody to hide out. How you doing, Rhetoric? How you doing, buddy, huh? You sure are a nice dog, aren't you? Pogo, my big buddy here. How's your face doing, huh? Face is all healed up. That's funny, though, that dog got shaped and got chopped in the face with a razor sharp bolo. He never even whined, never even whined once. As it was healing, got all infected. I gave him an antibiotic every day and amoxicillin. I'd stuff it in his piece of bread for him and, and I'd pour that uh, Benadine all over it. I'm hoping that helped him out. He healed up pretty fast. He's a tough dog though. He sure is mean when it comes to to strangers and people that don't belong here. He's a perfect judge of character so far. So he doesn't like somebody, we don't like somebody. That's the way it goes. He is the king. What's really funny is usually when a, a dog smells another dog in heat, you know, and they're all chasing him around, the funny thing is the dogs come up to him now. The female dogs come up to him to our yard for, to, for him to breed him. He's just that superior to most of the other dogs, I guess. Now he's not very big. He's only about two foot tall at the shoulders, if even that. But I saw him, I saw him nail a dog twice his size. He just, luckily the other dog was a little bit below him on the path, but he just plowed into him full blast, grabbed hold of him, grabbed him by the neck and just started shaking and didn't let go until the other dog ran away. That was a nice mature big white dog. And I can't even see here but there are so many mosquitoes out here. Again after a rain you have tons and tons of mosquitoes. There's clouds of them. How you doing buddy huh? Got a flea or something? Yeah, I bet you do. Pray needs a good flea bath, huh? Poor guy. Got to watch him close for ticks, too, because sometimes there's ticks all over the place here. How you doing there, buddy, huh? How you doing, huh? You are such a good boy, too. You sure are. You're such a good boy. He's just terrified of the bigger dog. The bigger dog just thrashes him. He just jumps on top of him and and grabs him by the neck and just shakes him. He doesn't bite him, but he just he just throws him on his back to show him he's still he's still the king, aren't you, huh? You're the boss, aren't you? You're the king. You're the king of the hill. You sure are. You're a good boy, aren't you, huh? Yes, you are. He just loves attention. All right, my favorite little dogs. I don't, I don't see him around. The little furry one. Call him Curly. We had three of them. Molary and Curly. They were the three stooges. There they are. Larry's gone. We don't know what happened to him. Here's Mo. Here's the black one. This Curly right here. He's just a nice dog too. They're all sitting here licking me. Wanted to get a pet. Good boys. Yeah, you get you come in. Make sure you get most of the attention, don't you? Huh? Don't put up with it. There's Redrick. He's a great dog. There, beautiful dog. It's kind of funny though. Even the little dogs now, they're following the big dogs around. They're just, they're just turning into a nice little pack. It's 
It's almost Christmas. Then if you just heard that noise, it's fireworks in the distance. This whole next week will be fireworks every night, and firecrackers and noise and gets old, but that's the way the Filipinos are. They'll do a lot of karaoke and a lot of drinking over this next week. There's no use complaining about it, they just they're gonna do it no matter what. <laughs> you even got an old chicken over here. Nice young cat. We got two new kittens too in the kitchen I saw the other day. Two little bitty teeny ones. There's Pogo. How you doing, Pogo? Good boy. But he patrols he patrols about I'd say six hectares of land he's the king of. Maybe that big. Two or three square miles. He runs around. He usually has his he has his crew with him wherever he goes. They all follow him. So that's good. I wouldn't want to meet him at night. What you doing there, bud, huh? Huh? What you doing? Look at rolls over. He just want all he wants is attention. You're such a good boy, huh? The puppy's coming over to scratch him too. Boy. How you doing, Curly? Hmm? How you doing? One more? Good boy. Look at that happy face. Moving on. All right, I'll see you boys later. Thanks for watching. Take care. <laughs>